Okay, we are doing a call-in campaign. Yes, indeed. Uh, let me get give a bit of a backstory. I always, I always had planned to begin doing things like this. Um, it's it's necessary. It's a necessary step. I mean, eventually you have to break out and start uh, invading the, polit the political sphere, the explicitly political sphere, in order to demand you know things like circumcision bans, punishment for the perpetrators, justice for the victims, in the form of tissue regeneration. Uh, that's sort of it. I always knew that that needed to be part of the mix. Uh, I was, I've been reserved here because I've, I've sort of thought, well, we need to grow. We need to grow our little inner core here. Um, uh, you know, the sort of our ragtag bunch of radical intactivists. We sort of need to grow the community a little bit. Um, you know, like here on this channel, but. Uh, Male Sentient Voids channel, U.S. Victim of Genital Mutilations channel. There's a couple, couple more radically minded people, as well as a few, a few other newcomers as well. Um, and I thought we 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 need to gather our strength a little bit. But um, you know, maybe a week and a half ago, two two weeks ago, um, Male Sentient Void, you know, said, you know what, let's do it. Let's do a call-in campaign. And he want he wanted to target. Uh, there's been all this hype about religious freedom in Iceland regarding the Iceland uh, circumcision ban, and it seems like the national or perhaps international Jewish lobby managed to get the U.S. Foreign Affairs Committee in our Congress to lambast Iceland on the basis of religious freedom uh, for trying to ban circumcision. And in particular, they got these two people, uh, Ed Royce of California and Elliot Engel, um, some, from somewhere in New England. Uh, Royce, I don't believe, is Jewish. I believe Engel may be Jewish. Um, to blather about Iceland uh, repressing f freedom of religion. I, it's, it's, it's all nonsense. Mind you, it appears that uh, the Iceland ban may in fact be tabled. Uh, I'm not sure where that's going to go. Uh, I don't know if Celia Gunnar's daughter is going to make a lot of trouble and keep it keep it in the news. I hope she does. Uh, we should certainly support her for that. I'll talk about that as well. Uh, I don't know. The jury's out on what's going on in Denmark. I, I, I don't really know. In general, I don't. We can't be depending on outside forces uh, to do the heavy lifting for us. We're going to have to do it ourselves. And in a way, I actually think that the U.S. is is ripe for more action, more explicit action on circumcision, even than than Europe is in many ways, because the country is a tinder bundle. The country is loaded with victims, people I can stoke to a white heat of rage. Uh, but anyway. Yes, these two people, um, they present a very interesting target. So we are going to, and and we have, and it was it was interesting. I had actually called them. I saw the article when they did that. That was about three weeks ago, a little bit before. Uh, Mel Senti Void contacted me, and I I just I called him on my own and said, you know, you know, I, you know, I support the Icelandic circumcision ban. Blah blah blah. I don't like this, the the, the foreign affairs committee statements, um, I just, I didn't know we could, ha we could have a campaign, but you know, screw it, let's do it, let's do it. And this is great because you don't have to get off your lazy ass in order to do any part of this, right? You can do this from the couch covered in potato chip crumbs with the phone in your hand. I'll leave the phone numbers in the description. Um, yeah, I, I called, I mean, I called a little bit ahead of this. Male Sentient Void uh, has, uh, and I have been talking, and a couple other people, and it's it's interesting, I mean, it's kind of funny. The Apparently, uh, he called, and a guy, you know, one, one time a guy picked up, and he was actually pretty friendly. On other occasions, it was these female secretaries who were real, I don't know, they were, they were argumentative, which I find almost funny, because I've... I've been in campaign offices. I've been in, you know, I've been in political 
offices, I, I know how things work. They're not supposed to argue with you. They're supposed to say, you know, oh, oh, yes, yes, sir, yes. Oh, thank you. We're take, take, dutifully taking down the information. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We'll we'll relay this information to the senator, the congressman. Thank you for your time. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. The, the fact that they're getting into arguments, claiming uh, religious freedom and health, this, that, and the other, uh, on over the phone is really weird. I mean, it tells me that we're like, we're triggering these people. We're triggering their their reptilian brain to kick in. I wonder if any of these people. Uh, mutilated their sons. I wonder if that, that may have anything to do with it. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. And it sort of jibes with what I was saying before, that, that we have to, we're going to have to keep up the pressure. We're sort of going to have to torture society into compliance. So, like, constantly pestering these people. Like, I almost want to make this like an indefinite, open-ended thing. Where we target these two people specifically, target their offices for nonstop bombardment on this issue. Why not? So Saul Alinsky uh, noted that um, the the, or the left wing political organizer of the last century noted that uh, you need to target individuals. Individuals can be polarized and isolated and cut off from support much more easily. And they can be bent to your will much more easily than institutions in general. And it's just fun. I mean, uh, you know, it's kind of a little fun thing to do. And Alinsky also said, you know, a good strategy is one that your people like and find fun. So, yes. Elliot Engel and Ed Royce. I'll leave their phone numbers in, in the description. Um, I also would like, I, I think we should keep up the pressure on the Icelandic embassy. Support them, you know, support, support the circumcision ban. Uh, according to Mel Sentient Void, they actually shut down their phones. They were getting, a, I mean, I don't know if it was because of this, although perhaps they were getting a lot of volume on this. And they were directing everybody to an email address. I'll have to scrape up some information on that. I'm not sure what was going on there. And Celia Gunnar's daughter. I think we should show her some love and some support for even raising this issue. And we should encourage her to, you know, cause some chaos in Icelandic politics if people aren't going to, you know, if they're going to table the bill. Maybe be a be a bee in the uh, the Icelandic government's bonnet, a bee in its butt, Ca you know, for her to, to to cause some some trouble over there. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is a like eventually we're gonna you know we're gonna we're going to. I mean, I'm running around on the internet like mad, trying to recruit a, a raging young activist class, trying to draw them to my channel and your and your some of these other channels as well. We're going to be engaging in the radical protest strategy. We're going to be waking up, in particular, waking up the kids and going after like the high school and college age demographic to recruit this raging mad activist class to get shit done. Eventually, we're going to have to start to once we're really causing chaos, causing a lot of pain, and we're drawing some recruitment. We're eventually going to have to start to break into the explicitly political sphere to translate the social chaos into political capital, and this is sort of one of the ways we're going to do it. Massive call-in campaigns. Um, showing up at town halls. Uh, uh, you know, maybe, I mean, do these representatives have kids? We could protest at their schools. We could uh, we could crank up the pressure on them really well. Um, we could, and I actually recommend that you do this. You know, call in and say. I mean, tell them you live in their district. I mean, they care a little bit more. Or tell them you're a one issue voter. Or tell them you're an organizer that will show up in their district and campaign against them uh, if they don't. For them if they do, and against them if they uh, if they don't turn kind. Uh, Yeah, so so there are things. These these are sort of the things that are eventually going to have to happen. We may as well try, you know, try to begin cranking up the pressure now. So, yes, the the main point of this video was the Elliot Engel and Ed Royce, but I'll, I'll also try to include some other information about the Icelandic embassy and Celia Gunnar's daughter. Show her some love. So yeah. 
uh, call-in campaigns. Let's try it. Let's pilot it. Let's, let's cause a little chaos in the offices of Ed Royce and Elliot Engel. Tell me what you think. Let's do it. You don't have to, you don't have to get off your ass to even do it. So there's no excuses. There's new people on this channel because I know there's a big influx of new subscribers. You don't even have to get off your ass to get involved. Pick up the phone. I'm practically doing the work for you. Okay. Take care.